Okay, so I am initially creating a character which has just popped up here. Uh, there we are. Okay, so this character, basically I wanted it in the style of a, a kind of 16th century woodcut. So, um, you know, it's we can't really have it that basic, but it's in in the style of a ps1 character i'm not keen on the uh, on the amount of detail in the face but um so what i did initially is i've just kind of given uh i've kind of written out a basic description of what i'm looking for which let me just save that uh which chat which i ran through chat G gtp and what's happened is it's given me a 7000 word essay um which you probably want to adjust this and adapt this but really kind of i'm just doing it quickly so uh this would work for the kind of uh character i'm looking for so what i've done is i've gone through a number of variations um it's quiet this morning on mid journey because it's sunday uh so this again too complex in the face i've got strange things going on with the hands um so i've kind of ended up with this i'm going to save this and, and we'll uh move forward with this so I want to add a bit more clarity. Well, I want to adjust a few things on this. So if I copy the link and then uh, I go and paste that back in. Uh, so Maja, oh, uh, and then I need to put a space and then no shadows, woodcut style, uh, less detail on face uh, let's try that okay give it a few minutes so this is more of what i'm looking for if i can find it um but so this is kind of uh, this type of thing is more what i'm looking for but um it's still got too much detail and so what i really need to do is and it's missing the entire body and we managed to get rid of the shadow in this one um so i'm gonna to have to go back to the the main prompt um and then kind of dig out the words that i need and make a more detailed prompt because it's missing half the stuff that i need okay so i've gone back into chat gtp uh so what i've done here is i've just written the rewrite more clearly so i've just given it a most importantly full body with arms and legs uh so let's try this uh and it says i'm gonna cut this bit out simply design the rest of the body i'm just gonna cut that bit out and then i'll control and then we shall paste it back into uh mid journey so up again so imagine i'm going to press the link back in the middle of space and then what i'm going to try here is uh i've just i just i'm going to try for this one okay okay let's leave that for a minute so we've got this it's still casting shadows for some reason so this all looks a bit lord of the rings to me we want a demon uh that looks a bit like uh game of thrones so and that looks a bit weird uh i mean really i suppose we're gonna have to go with that one but um yeah it's still casting a shadow i'm not sure why it's doing that and this is at a slight angle uh but let's i don't want this either uh okay let's just go with the variation on this one yeah if i can find where it's gone now so variation three okay so after much messing about we've got um this guy who's looks a little bit mike Mignola to be honest with you <clears throat> um his head's still too detailed horns are bigger i keep asking mid journey to remove the clothes but it appears to be slightly prudish and won't do it <clears throat> and also we've got the strange crowbar which has popped out of nowhere but interestingly which i've forgotten about it's given uh, the character hooves which obviously the the devil has uh or is supposed to have um so i'm gonna now just take this one which is almost there and just take it into photoshop and clean it up nice belt and just clean it up um for the next stage 
Okay, so I've speeded this up just to go through it quickly. Um, so we've got two versions of the character, obviously we only need one. So the first thing that I need really to do is get that mouse pointer out of the way. Um, is to create an outline so we're going to take it into the 3d uh, ai 3d building package um and so i've just put another layer in and i'm drawing lines around the character so the reason i put another layer in is so that i can blur it slightly so that we don't have such a harsh line um and we need some uh, what i've done is i've doubled the well in fact i need to double the the figure effectively to make it a t pose so i'm going to need to really cut the the uh, right hand half off as such um, and then copy it um, so I need to cut that arm off and then I need to paste it back in and flip it which hopefully I'm about to do uh, other than messing around so I think I might have over blurred that line I did going back to fix it uh, so I think the specifications of the 3d model making package here we go flip that horizontally um and so we, we we you know we do need some variation between the two sides so what i've done there is i'm just rotating it around uh as you can see um and then i'm going to just because that's on a new layer i can just delete out some of the lines and the strange crowbar from behind uh and kind of merge it in as i'm doing there but the ai 3d package requires that you have a, a white background if i remember which i hope is the case otherwise all this will be a bit pointless uh, and you also need an outline around the character um and you'll also note that i'm going to need to get rid of those shadows uh, at the bottom of the character which i think although i haven't tried it uh, i found out during the process of this that if you put a double dash uh, no background into mid journey it will just uh that'll give you a background so just a bit of fiddling you know just to make it all kind of line up make it look like a human character um and it should recognize it in the ai 3d package and then it should uh output a 3d model okay so really just to finish this up i just need to make sure we've got an outline around all of this so that uh when we take it into the ai 3d package it will be able to differentiate that this is actually an object uh, I mean, it, it's not like a woodcut. Also, I need to kind of clean up um, the. So I'll show you what I mean now. So we want to make sure that we have uh, a clear kind of. Let me just flatten it. Uh, that we have a clear kind of. Uh, groin area so that we can rig it basically um and i mean really i'm probably going to move that up in which case uh so this is where you start fiddling more and more in fact i'm going to need to do i'm going to not need to do that i'm going to need to do that and then we can just kind of give the devil a clear groin so obviously let me just actually cut that and let me paste it uh, so I'm move that up there and I'm probably going to want to then cut that off there and accidentally deselect it at the same time getting old um and then maybe get a bit of that in there on the background a bit of the older razor um you know so we're getting the groin in there and then really what i need to do is just put some make sure this is complete lines wise and then delete all this stuff uh the shadows that i asked it not to put in uh which i believe now i found out you need to put in a double dash um no background if you don't want a background in okay so i'll do this and that's kind of version one which we can take into the 3d ai package and see how this works and then we'll try another version okay so here we are at the business end of the whole process which is kdim3d.com 
Uh, and so I've got a, I've purchased a startup account, which means I get five free models, I believe. Well, I, I paid for five models. Um, so already this one's going crazy as well. So obviously they're overwhelmed with endless uh, 3D models now for people searching for easy ways to do things, such as myself. Um, so all I really need to do is I'm just going to drag in my, uh, my finalised image. Give it, I mean, I could actually have done a kind of turnaround here as well, but um, uh, hopefully it will match the input requirements. Uh, max poly count, I'm going to go 20,000, uh, which is still quite a lot, actually. Uh, I mean, let's go 15, no, let's go 20. Um, I'm not sure we need to put in height, but the, luckily for me, I'm looking for low poly models. So hard surface, low detailed inputs. That's fine by me. One credit um, and generate. So has it? Okay. So again, this is something that I'd need to be learning about how many images you need to put in. Um, and so this is going to take quite some time. I think last time I left it for an hour and this was before this message rolled up. So uh, I shall be back in a few hours, perhaps days. And so what will happen next is that you get a, it'll basically just tell you it's, it's uh, processing. Um, usually I think last time it told me it was a female character. So this is a mid-journey image that um, I, as an in-game character that I recently produced. Uh, and it gave me a really nice model actually, just from this simple kind of um, bust of a, of a, of a game character. Uh, so let's see how it does with this, which is a completely different kettle of fish. So as I say, back in a few hours, months. Okay, so we're into KDIM, uh, which is experiencing delays due to overwhelming demand. So this has taken me two days. Ignore that one for the minute. We'll talk about how we produce that in a second. Um, so we've got the the Faust Demon from uh, Mid Journey. So if we have a quick look at my assets, and then we look at the Faust Demon. So. So this is a bit nuts really, it has, I mean, the legs are wonky and the arms are wonky as they were in the image. But if you look at the wireframe, it's automatically made quite a complex head, uh, which is what you need. Um, and, you know, you could quite easily fiddle with these arms and, you know, flip the legs uh, to make this into a really reasonable kind of low poly model. I'm not so convinced that it would work on super high poly models, but hey ho. Uh, anyway, so, and it's also recognised it's got hooves. So again, excellent work from the AI. So this is the other interesting thing, which, uh, so if I just, um, this is the demon. So let's try this. So this is just going to, uh, it's just going to, project a flat plane a map through the middle of it so last time I tried this uh, it didn't work so let's have a go monochrome back let's just do the same uh, okay so I don't know how long this is going to take uh, but I think I'll probably leave it for a moment and restart here we are so not ideal but it has done a pretty good job of the face, which I presume is because it's the high poly area. Um, but I mean, you know, again, for a woodcut figure, this it looks like it's got um, some sort of um, odd disease on its hands. So the hands and the legs, this is absolutely fine. I mean, I could live with this. So a uh, bit of work in the horns, bit of work in the arms. Sorted. There we are.